Hello everyone, my name is Raymond, and welcome to Raven Gaming Labs, and welcome back to another GZ Doom tutorial. In this tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to look at sliding doors. And where do we want to put this door? Uh, I think I'm going to put it, like, right here. So we're just going to do a Control shift d and I'm just going to make myself a nice little sliding door that's 192 by 32. Okay, and I'm going to come over in here because, you know, I already kind of got all my doors and stuff over here. And just like in the previous video, uh, the sliding door has to be roughly the same size as the sector that you're going to be linking it to. Okay, so we're just going to hit S and go into sector, and we're just going to delete that because, you know, we don't need it in the inside sector, and we want the faces all pointing outwards, or the line depths, I should say. And now what we're going to do is just go through, and we're just going to, let's see here, there we go. I want the door stop, because I want the same as pretty much last time. I'm just going to use roughly the same textures. But you guys can use any textures you want. I'm going to use the SPC door 4. Hit OK. OK. And I'm also going to go over here. And I am going to select both walls. And I'm going to make that door stop so that when our door goes inside, you know, we kind of have like a... Uh, um, it, it looks like, you know, the sides of our door. OK. So, what do we need to do? Well, the first thing we need to do is I'm going to select this top line up here. And we go to Properties. I'm going to open up this little book. I'm going to type Poly. And it is the start line. And it is action number one. And we're going to set it to Poly object number two. Now, if you don't have any... Um, if you don't have any doors or anything, you know, you can set it to one. But basically, you just need to set it to an unused number. Because this is Poly object number one. So, this will be number two. And now I'm going to hit T to go into think mode. And I'm just going to place down here. And I'm going to say poly object anchor. And our angle is how we set the ID of our anchor. Of our anchor. And I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to go up here. And I'm going to right click again. And I'm going to say poly object start. Once again, we need it to be set to 2. And you should see a red line connecting it. If you see that, you did good. All right, we're almost done. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm actually going to drag my uh, my player start up there. So we'll, you know, be able to see the door straight away. I'm going to hit L and I'm going to select both doors. And then I'm going to, oh, sorry, both line defs. And I'm going to say repeatable action when player presses use. And then going to search for poly door slide, which is filter number eight. So, or action number eight, I should say. So you can put it right here. And nice little shortcut. And I'm going to say poly object two, movement speed, fast, delay, eh, let's say five seconds. Uh, all of this, you know, can, you know, be messed with. So this is the movement speed of, you know, how fast the door opens. I'm going to set it to fast. This is the movement angle. So uh, let me just hit OK. So... There we go. I need to be able to see here. Okay, so if we set our movement angle up here, which would be 64, our door will go this way. And if we set our movement angle this way, which is 192, our door will go down this way. And we want it to go down this way because there's nothing in here. It'll just go into the void. Uh, and yes, if you set it to this or this, uh, it will push in, slide out, and so forth. Okay, and now we have the movement distance. So if we were to set this to 64, our door would partially open, but we want it to open up all the way. So we're going to set it to 192, and that'll make our door just pretty much just vanish, and we'll hit play. And it's doing that again. So excuse me one second, everyone, while I fix this. Okay. Now that that's fixed, we can hit play. Everything works. You know, we can see all of our stuff here. And we're just going to walk up. We're going to hit E, and our door slides open and completely vanishes into the void. And then five seconds later, it'll slide back out. You can open it up again. And we'll check this side. It's a little slow, probably want to speed that up, but you know, it kind of depends on what you're doing there. 
And that is it. That is everything you need to do to have a sliding door. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this tutorial. And if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, you can put them down below. If you'd like to support this channel, you become a Patreon member over at Patreon, or you can become a YouTube member uh, at YouTube. There's a link to both in the description. And uh, they help support the channel, get early access to my videos, all that good stuff. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that bell for, you know, so you actually get notifications, or you should get notifications, but, you know, YouTube is YouTube. And I will see you all in the next one. Y'all have a good one. Hey everyone, thanks for watching Raven Gaming Labs. Thanks to all the members and viewers who make RGL possible. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell so that you can be notified. If you want to become a member, hit the join button or link in the description below. Members get early access to videos, member exclusive content, and more. As well, don't forget to join our awesome community over at Discord. Y'all have a good one.